Welcome to my vlog. I wish you, you and you a happy 2023. And as you can see, I am here in my mom's backyard. It's not as nice as it is in the summertime, but today I decided to do like an MTV crib tour of my mom's house here in Germany. And I also wanted to show you how my room looked when I grew up. So let's start with the tour. You've probably seen how nice my mom's backyard looks in the summertime. I just want to show you, we got an attic, we got the first floor, the ground floor, and then we got the basement as well. And let's check it out. Walking into the living room here. Hi, happy new year. Welcome to my home. Welcome to your home. Yes. This is mom's couch. That's where she's laying on the couch every single night. And now you see how a German living room looks like. Look at this. Believe it or not, this wall is like 40 years old. When we first bought it, I think they paid like 20,000 marks for it. This is really good wood. And look at all the stuff my mom has here. She was reading books all the time. Look at all the glasses. Mom got everything. There's my dad right there. My mom, and look at this. Mom used to paint Marilyn Monroe and Elvis Presley. And of course she got all the pictures here. What, why does she have pictures up with my ex-girlfriend here, huh? All the CDs. Mom loves music. And there's my family tree, my grandpa, my grandma. If this guy would have not been with this lady, I would have never been here. My dad, and that's my mom's side, my mom's mom, my mom's dad. And we got the dogs here. This is a GIV. And this is my sister. I know you guys didn't know that I have a sister, but that is my sister, my sister's husband and his kid. My cousin, my auntie. Yeah. Now you've seen my, <laughs> you've seen mom's living room. I don't think I'm going to show you all the rooms, but the main rooms where I grew up, this is actually in my mom's bedroom right now but it used to be mine. Let's check it out. And this is it. Mom's bedroom. This used to be my room. And I'm gonna match up some pictures in a second. Mom's watch collection. She's afraid that I show this, these people are gonna break in here. This has no value, mom. Those are like really cheap. There's not even a Rolex there, but she loves different color watches. And all those pictures here. We're gonna go to this one later. Those are still my little Ferraris when I was a kid. She kept everything. And this used to be Facebook back then. The GIV in Florida. The GIV in New York. And that's me too, in 1986 it says, on Broadway in New York City, I told him to draw me a little skinny. I don't even recognize me. And then we got like a collection of football helmets. We're gonna get there in a second. Let me get a ladder. Catcher gloves, we got helmets, replica helmets. And look at those Coca-Cola. Those are all made out of Coca-Cola. I used to collect those, I love those. In the background, you see all those helmets, football helmets I collected over the years. Look at this helicopter here. Nice, huh, from a Pepsi can. More football helmets. Helicopter. Skateboard helmet and a catcher helmet, I think it is. I love all those little Coca-Cola planes, cars and everything. 
And check this out. This is uh, my Instagram years ago. It's my mom, my dad. That's a GIV at the Grand Canyon. My dad, and look at this. GIV right in front of the man's Chinese theater. What? A Porsche? That was in Venice. That was me and my mom in Hawaii, Waikiki. My dad and me in San Francisco. The GIV in Hawaii. And there's the GIV model in Venice Beach, California. And that's when I was working on the beach selling drinks. Yeah, that's my Instagram wall. And this is a poster I actually made. I think this is like, I don't know how many hundreds of pictures of Venice Beach, but I made that poster myself. It's too much glare right now, but you can see the other pictures. This is all pictures from Venice Beach. I put together and printed it out for my mom. And on this side, you see Jackson Collins artwork. This is my photo I took. I framed it. I used to sell those pictures. The left one is also mine. There's Harry Perry, but this is also a different artist. You're probably not interested in how it looks right now because my mom lives in here. But I have picture how this place used to look when I lived here before I came to America, when I was a big America fan. And I want to show you. This picture was taken right here. The GIV number 73, best football player in town. Here you see the two windows. And this is how it used to look, the two windows. I had the big American Eagle here. We got the Cowboys, the Miami Dolphins. We got license plates from all over the United States. And that was my little table where I did my homework. That was right here. Hanging from the ceiling was American flag. See the window right there? That's how it looked like. I got a flag from the top. I got all football, baseball, cowboy boots, the baseball, I want you for you as army, all the heads. I also had a flag on the left right here. That was my room. And maybe you recognize this one here. Yeah? This is Gogo and me. Baseball jacket on. That was right here in the corner. Now you understand why I'm all crazy about America. This is the door. Look at his arms right here. Flag, the flag on top, and all the license plates. That was right here in the corner. I was sitting on the couch. Look, I got the Interstate 1 sign up there. Boxing gloves. It's hard to explain to people why I love America so much. I love everything over there and I've been loving it for years. It started when I was a little kid and Mark Spitz, the swimmer, American swimmer, he won, I think, seven gold medals and he wearing those American uh, swimming trunks. And I used to be a swimmer. My dad used to be like a national polo, water polo player. So I've been swimming a lot. I'm a really good swimmer. And I saw Mark Spitz back then. And he had his swimming trunks from America. And I wanted the trunks. My mom bought them and I was wearing them all the time. Then I got a shirt with the stars and the stripes. And that's how it all started. And ever since, I love America. And some people have a passion about something. You know, like Mr. Beast. He had a passion for... YouTube, seven years, he was making zero money on YouTube, but he had a passion for it. I have a passion for America, and you can't, you don't have it. You don't have it, you don't have it. And that's why you don't understand, but I love it. And this was my bed. And look at all the license plate I had on the wall here. I think I have over three, 400 license plates. I don't know how many I have now, but I still have them. And here you can see I always had the Statue of Liberty on my uh, flag. This one was taken right here. 
with my dog, the Rottweiler Sheila. Man. Go, go, Tommy, and the GIV. I mean, it looks like we're actually Americans in that picture. That could be in any basement somewhere in Illinois or maybe Kentucky. I think number 72 was like Chicago Bears, William Perry, I think. On this side, there was a couch. This is fantastic with the boxing gloves. And I also found some other pictures a long time ago when I was doing Kempo Karate. I was the biggest Bruce Lee fan you can imagine. I had posters everywhere here. Let me show you. This used to be my other bed here. Look at this. All Bruce Lee on the wall. You see that? Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. I even got the nunchucks here. I was the biggest Bruce Lee fan. And then I changed a little bit. American flag up there with the Statue of Liberty, but I still had all the Bruce Lee posters up there. And this was the other side. Bruce Lee everywhere. Up there is C-3PO, Star Wars. I was a big Star Wars fan. Man. I wish I would have done videos back then. There's the door right here and look. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. And who would have ever known that Bruce Lee used to live in Culver City? And I moved to Culver City and I found out I only lived like a few blocks from where Bruce Lee used to live. So I can walk there. I walk out my door. It's not too far. And that was where Bruce Lee's house was, right behind the studios where he filmed the Green Hornet. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I used to go to this house, I'm just sitting there. I matched up pictures of him being in the backyard. You can find it on my channel here. I mean, for me, it was amazing. I still have some relics left from when I was a Bruce Lee fan. more Beverly Hills Ninja than Bruce Lee. Don't mess with the German in Venice. Whew. And I didn't even practice for this, but I used to be really good with those nunchucks. I haven't worked out with those for a long time. I only took a few posters out to show you. Those are over 40 years old. Those are worth some money already. If you flip them around, I have like all stories, they came out every week. I used to buy them all, then I got all those books. Really cool books, his life and his fights. I mean, pretty awesome. I looked under my mom's bed and I had all this stuff there and I found something really, really cool. And I had more of them, but I can't find it anymore. But check this out. Arnold Schwarzenegger in Terminator. I used to see him all the time at the gym. And this is actually original signed by Arnold. It's kind of fading away, but I had like four or five more, but I can't find them anymore. I don't know where they are, but this is pretty cool. I also find this picture. This is Ralf Möller. He's a German actor. He worked out at World's Gym. He's Arnold's friend. Oh, we look at this. Arnold and the GIV, and Arnold signed the picture over here. Look at this, the original signature from Arnold Schwarzenegger. Man, he looks big. And then underneath, do you know who that is? To Mike from Tony Curtis. He also used to work out at World Gym all the time. And I have so many pictures with celebrities, I don't even know where they are anymore. But here he signs it, the original, original one. And this is the first year when I got drafted for the Lakers. 
Remember those things? You could actually have a picture taken with like either like a sports star. Then I got another one. It's like a magazine called Gung Ho, the GIV, Elite Unit Special, the German. Yeah, that used to be really popular. That was Rumble Rambo right there. Mama always said, crazy is what crazy does. How many American flags do you own? Big ones like this, they're huge. This is just a small portion of my collection. I probably have like another 60 in my place in California. I collect American flags. I love American flags. In the land of the free, you can be what you want to be. And I also found a really old map, a movie star's homes. I used to drive there, check out all the houses. That's why I know where all the stars used to live. Bruce Lee definitely changed my life. And look what I found here too. This is one of those original patches. They go on the Baywatch jackets. Somebody from the set gave me that. Man, I was so happy that day. I remember that. I was on the set on Baywatch. I saw David Hasselhoff and some other people. Good memories. Well, my friends, that was it. Live here from my mom's crib. If you like the video, right underneath, if you want to get a part two, when I can show you where the GIV sleeps upstairs, and I want to show you the cool basement we have too. But I don't really know if it's interesting for you guys to see video where I grew up. For me, it's a lot of memories. I like to look through all those pictures. I had a great time and I like to share it with you. I mean, sometimes I'm thinking, why would you be actually interested in how the German and Venice grew up? But I got a big following right here already and maybe it makes you happy to watch stuff like this. Maybe not, who knows? Anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, push the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe to the German in Venice.